Yo, what's good, Griff413 here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for episode number 77 of our Forzathon series. Guys, 77 Forzathons. Forzathon number 77. What is going on, guys? It is crazy, crazy, crazy. In this week, we are getting spicy. Burn up the competition with your driving skills, and oh man, some of these look like some fun events. First of all, we have is we have stir the pot, perform 20 barrel roll skills to receive a hundred thousand credits. Then after that, we have hot laps, complete five races in a sport utility hero to win the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it spicy, get it stir the pot, hot Porsche Cayenne. Oh, I know, guys, that's a terrible joke, but cayenne pepper, ooh, so good, so good. I've always put it in my tacos and everything like that, and everything I eat, I'll use a lot of cayenne pepper. I don't know why. It's just delicious. All right, then we got heating up the trap, complete a race in the cayenne turbo to earn 35,000 experience. Then finally, we got flames of victory. Flames of victory, guys, win a championship in a Porsche to win three wheel spins and like always guys currently we are joined by a couple of y'all who wanted to come out and uh have a good time so you guys can go ahead and say hi or not hi there there's one hi yeah okay so but anyway though we hi. are about <laughs> yeah all right a little late to the party man but what we are going to do first is I'm thinking we go ahead and we actually start off with those five races. And we're going to do it in a championship series because if we win a championship, we're going to complete two in one. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. Five routes, 18.6 miles. Let's go ahead and create that blueprint right now. And hear what uh, someone's got to say. Like, another Horizon Championship. This is a brand new Horizon Championship event. Mm. Want to be the first to win it? It's always like something very, very simple. Like, oh, a new Horizon Championship. You want to be the first to win it? Of course I want to be the first to win it. In fact, why are we having more than one championship at any given time? I thought, you know, Horizon was only supposed to be like a three-day festival. So far, we're at over a year. I mean, dang. <laughs> it's a two-year-long festival, guys, until the next one comes. So let's go ahead and start this race up. We're going to double check our difficulty because in the last episode, yeah, I thought we uh, I thought we lowered that down a bit because we were getting our asses handed to us. And what we're going to go ahead and do today is we're going to up that back into unbeatable and get this race started. Let's get it started. Hot. Let's get it started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a Mustang already crashing into a wall. Very typical of Mustangs, if I do say so myself. Uh... Especially if you've ever been to a car meet whatsoever, then you know that is very, very typical. It happens at at least one or two car meets a year. Oh, here we go, guys. <laughs> here we go. Or at least at one one or two times at each car meet. <laughs> Let's say that. Oh, I'm just kidding, Mustang, guys. I know, I know not all of you are as bad as, you know, the media makes you out to be. Hashtag fake news. <laughs> all right, but anyway, though, let's keep going on this. Why are we so bad now? Like, is it because, like, people have just quit Horizon 3 except for those who are really, really good at the game? And thus, all the driver tars that are still left are only the ones that are really good or something? What is going on? It's like everybody got all of a sudden really, really good. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, guys! Let's see if we can rewind that because that guy just hit something in. Like, he hit another invisible barrier and just got stopped dead in his tracks. Holy crap, guys. All right, so we're still in fourth place now. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Nico. You need to fail and fall back here. You need to fall back here with me, man. I need to get back into Horizon 3. You know, a lot of people are still actually playing the game. You know, I thought it was going to die when Motorsport 7 came out. But Motorsport 7 had so many issues that people have just been, like, flocking back to this game as it's like, oh, they flocked to this game or they flocked to Need for Speed, one or the other. Ooh. Ooh, so there's a Ferrari. Oh, wait. What am I saying? That is definitely not no Ferrari. God, I sound like one of them chumps, because that definitely looks like a mirror right now to me. I'm looking behind me to check. Oh, God, is that a Ford GT? I'm seriously going to be so mad. I, I've got this wrong so many times that I have no idea what that car is for some reason. I called it a Ferrari, then I called it a Mira, and now I'm thinking it's actually a Ford GT. All right, there we go, guys. We got second place, which is not the greatest position ever. And now let's see what that car actually is. It is a Ford GT. Okay. 
I was right after the third guess. I was thinking it was a Ferrari and just absolutely suck it on the guesses. Because, man, we are just not very good. And no, we are not going to let a Jaguar pass us in a 4x4 Porsche Cayenne SUV Turbo. Come on, man. Come on. Why are we so bad? I need to get good. I need to get good. And I am not very good anymore, it appears. Oh, God, there's that 4 GT40 again. So that's a different one. That one's blue. Oh, God, that was a terrible. Look at that. We could have easily jumped over that. But nope, invisible walls, invisible walls. We just keep hitting invisible walls. Yeah. Also, this Porsche, I don't know why. I, I thought it would be a decent tune. I guess not. I have no idea what is going on. We are, we are really, really starting to suck. Which means that I'm, I'm going to have to turn down the difficulty again. And at the beginning of Forza Horizon 3, we weren't all that great, right? You know, the difficulty was really, really high for Unbeatable. Everyone was out here complaining like, Oh my god, why is the difficulty so high? And then they started doing it with Forza 7. And I still don't understand. Like, I mean, look at that right there. We had uh, the second fast and third, fourth. Oh, no, our lap time actually wasn't all that great. But then Digital Death comes in here and kicks our butt. <laughs> this time he was in a different car. This time he was in the Rally Fighter. But man. Man, we're going to have to turn down that difficulty again. And I am not feeling happy about it. Because look at that. 26 points. We are 14 points behind him. He has got first every single race. What is he? Some kind of cheater? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not actually calling him a cheater. But I mean, damn. We're going to turn down the difficulty right now. Which is quite a bit of a letdown. I hate, 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 hate doing this. I really, really do. But I guess it, it, it's what we got to do. Because I don't want to sit here and do another freaking championship. Do you guys want me to sit here and do another championship? Don't answer that. Because I know some of you guys are actually going to be like, yes, I do. So, but anyway, though, let's go ahead. And no, I don't want to fast travel using that button. Not at all. Almost purchased it again because of freaking need for speed. Racing game makers, they need to sit down with each other and come up with standardized buttons. Like, I mean, they've standardized gas and acceleration. Because could you imagine if you bought a racing game and you, you're used to using a controller. Right trigger has almost always been the gas and to shoot. And imagine they come out and they say, left trigger is gas and right trigger is um, the brakes now. Do you know how pissed off some people would be? That would be a nightmare. That would be a nightmare. Imagine you all of a sudden get the crew too and left triggers the gas. Or maybe like the gas is now a joystick controller. Like, you know, one of the aiming things. And you have to use the uh, freaking bumpers to like steer. Could you imagine that? Using the bumpers to steer instead of gas. Like that would throw so many people off. I would not be able to play that game. I would be so furious. I would throw my controller at a wall say F this game and I'd be done hopefully we can actually win this time hopefully we can win this time I'm good. you know last time I said I was good at this course uh, I got my butt kicked again thanks for pushing the logs out of the way accelerate thank you so much there we go guys we're up into first now oh we overshot that oh, just a little bit Oh, there we go. Pull it back in. Pull it back in. That's what we need to do. Now, honestly, actually, the best way to take this is actually go on the outside a little bit because those logs will slow you down just very, very slightly. And then you can actually get a nice wide corner right there. Mmm. Well, this is actually working out in our favor. I don't know what it was, but that last track, the corners on that were not in our favor. Now, all of a sudden, we get here and put it on expert, and we are just kicking way too much butt way too much serious but i will say the horizon three races are really 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 short like i mean look at this guys we're, we're only like been in this race for about two minutes that is really really short two and a half minutes now or so actually not even two and a half minutes two minutes and 19 seconds to do that race that is honestly kind of a short race but it helps with these videos it keeps them a little bit shorter but there we go, guys. We actually got a first this time. And where's Digital Death? Oh! He didn't participate in the race. We turn it down to Expert, and Digital Death is gone. 
Look at that. He's not even on the board anymore. Now, instead, it looks like all the points ended up going to, like, Don Juan Song or something. Digital Death is no longer on the board. We turn down the difficulty. He is an unbeatable driver only. Holy crap. That tells you how good that guy is. He won't appear in the lower rankings. It actually took him off the board. Holy crap. Unless maybe Forza created their own character called Digital Death. And is purposely meant to basically just kick your butt. That'd be crazy. Like a new M. Rossi. But for Drivatars. I have no idea if that's actually true. That is just like a, a stupid theory. You know, if Digital Death is watching this, let me know down in the comment section that you are a boss. Alright, but anyway though, let's keep on moving on into our next race, which is just right over here. Timber Mail Scramble. Ah. Timber Mail Scramble? Uh, yeah, that sounds uh, perfectly acceptable. But why is it gonna be male, huh? Why can't it be Timber Female Scramble? Huh? Huh? I'm just kidding, guys. I, I just mispronounced it. Timber Mill Scramble. Ooh, come back in here. Oh, man. Lag just a little bit there. We just had a... Uh... Are you sick? Our mirror just got caught on that stack of lumber. I don't know why, but it did. Our mirror. Our mirror got caught. I... I no. I, I, I'm just... No. No, what? <sighs> gonna turn through here. A lot of people lost a lot of speed there, which is where we're going to gain it. Oh, yes. And there is Skillers right there in third. He has been pretty damn good and pretty, uh... He, he, he has a tendency to kick my butt from time to time. I will say that. Although, I will... Another thing I will say is, for some reason, he always gets, like, two racers. Him and Don Juan Song, that happens from time to time. They end up with two racers. So there we go, guys. We are now into third place, into second place. Not too shabby. We just kind of pushed him aside a little bit. It was like, hey, how about you let me pass, Johnny? Oh. Don Juan Song, you are out of here. That's not a uh, Shelby. Uh, I am sorry, guys. That is definitely not a Shelby. My bad. Uh, I would check to see what car it was, but unfortunately, I cannot. We are a little bit busy right now. And it won't let us. That's one thing I didn't like is that when you press start in a race, I honestly think that you should be able to, like, see the leaderboard. I, I know that's kind of a weird thing. So you can tell who's driving what car, all that sort of stuff. Because, like, what if I actually legitimately don't know what a car is? Like, I don't know right there. In fact, I actually think that might be a Jaguar. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that, though, because I've been so bad at guessing cars today. Like, I mean, we called a Ford GT40, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini Miura, and I still wasn't entirely sure on what the car actually was, which is pretty sad. That is not good, guys. Not good at all. Like, I mean, how can you guys trust me when I make stupid mistakes like that? <laughs> all I can say, guys, all I can say, that's a... Uh, whoo, whoo, at least I was able to correct it before actually seeing what the car was. I'm glad about that because I would have been so mad if I, like, you know, got to the end of it. Yes, Jaguar D-Type. This will actually get us almost all of these done, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy to see that 27 minutes in and we're just about done. And what I'm thinking about doing, let me know down in the comments section if you guys want to see this come back because there's a lot more people playing Horizon 3 now than are playing Motorsport 7. And I still want to do, like, post Forzathon, kind of. So, if we can get enough interest in post Forzathon again, I will start doing post Forzathon again. But you guys have got to mention that you guys want to see it. I want to see at least five comments in the comment section from five different people that say they want to see post Forzathon back. And I also want to make, make sure that you guys are actually going to come here and join the parties. Every Saturday around 2 p.m. Central Time, around 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Today we were a little late. We might be a little late, a little early, whatever. And that's why you guys got to follow me on Twitter, because I will let you guys know kind of what's going on. So, anyway, though, let's go ahead and get on into it. I want to see you guys' comments there. Final race in the series. Let's go. Let's go. That Honestly, some of these rear-wheel drive cars have been kicking our butts. Hopefully, though, here in the jungle, this Porsche Cayenne is going to shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. No! 
No, Accelerate, no. Don't steal this win from me. I swear to God, if you steal this win from me, I'm going to hate you forever. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on, Porsche. You got this. There he is. He is right there. He is right there. We've got this, man. We have got this in the bag now. We're going through the water. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Yes. Lifted Porsche. Here we come. Oh, yes. That is going to be our win right there. Right there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Course, for giving us that last little bit of water there. We were able to actually go ahead and come in first. Whew, we almost got our butts kicked again, though, which would not have been good. Which would not have been good at all. Oh. All right, guys. That is that one taken care of. We have just won the championship. 86 points to Don Juan Zong's 77. <sighs> I thought we were going to lose that. When Accelerate passed me there, I thought we were done. I thought we were done, so. But nope, we were lucky enough to actually go ahead and win that championship just barely. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. And so the only one that we got left now to do is go ahead and do some barrel rolls, which I'm going to show you guys how to do it properly. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit, all right? I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do them properly. So first way is to come over here to the... Uh, Nope, almost did it again. See, guys, see what I say? See what I say about this. I, I, I just, I can't mention it enough. Games should be standardized with, like, buttons. Like, I mean, it, it just should be that way. It should just be that way. Like, oh, well, we want fast travel to be X. So, but nope. Make it standard. Make it standard. I don't know why. Just do it. Just do it. Make me happy. Make me happy. All right. But here we go, guys. I'm going to show you guys how to do this both ways. We're going to come over here to these boxes. And we're going to do our first one really quickly. So let's go ahead and do this properly. That was very bad. That was a very bad attempt right there. Barrel rolls are tough to do. Which is why you're getting 100,000 credits for actually doing it. I don't know what I just clicked on. So, oh god. See, look at that. We just really, really fetched that one up. I think I just accidentally clicked join somebody else's session. I don't want to join their session. I was meaning to show you guys that they're giving you 100,000 credits for doing this. No, I don't. I didn't want to join their session. Why am I joining their session? I don't even know whose session this is. It just had me join some random dude's session. I don't even... Like the the kid's probably freaking out. Like who, who's 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 the leader of this? I don't I don't even know. He's probably freaking freaking out or something. I I don't even know. I guess we'll stay here for now. But I mean, he is probably like, oh my god, oh my god, it's Gur. Oh my god, he just joined my session. Oh my god, let's go find him. I don't even. Uh. I don't know. But let's see. If you guys want to, you can come join it. I guess. I I I don't know. It, it let me join. So. There we go. That is a proper barrel roll. It didn't count it, though. Or did it? I don't know. I don't know if it did. That should have counted. All right. But anyway, though, let's keep on. We're, go we're going to try and do one that's going to count completely. All right. We, get we need to get some speed here. Hit this just right. There we go. Barrel roll. Except we crashed into a wall. Uh, except we crashed into a damn wall. Ugh. All right. Here we go. I think this one should count here, too. Nope, we just wall righted. There we go. We're out of bounds. Stay on this side of the fence. Stay on this side of the fence. There we go. We made it. Woo! We made it. We kill it. Matt, at we kill it. All right, but here we go. We just want to come up here to wherever. There it is. Wrong way though. We're we're uh, we're not doing barrel rolls right now. We are just falling. It, it didn't used to be like this. Oh, yes. There we go, guys. One barrel roll. Two barrel rolls. Okay, so there's one. Two. Three. There we go. We got three barrel rolls there. That's not bad. So, guys, as you already see, we've done so many. I think we're up to like 11 now because of the 
the ones that we've done in here, I think totals like almost 10. You just need to find a sweet spot off the map. Oh, there we go. Come on, you gonna count that? One barrel roll. Oh, we should have got two there. I don't know about you guys. We should have got two there. That's one. Two. Kill them, guys. We are so... We're getting these done. This is like the cheap way to do it, though. We're gonna we're gonna stop here. We're gonna go back and we're gonna do some of these legitimately right now. Some other locations that you can do these. Uh, I've got one good location as well, which is right over here at the uh, timber mill. All right, here we are. We're at the timber. Oh shit, we already completed it. I I didn't realize that we already completed it. But anyway, though, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly though where we can go ahead and do some more of these because there is a great location where you can go ahead and do some nice ones. All right, and we're actually here. We're here, right here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Now, it is a little bit difficult sometimes. I won't mention that because I have tried to do quite a few of these at before. There we go. Yeah. Oh, if we would have had a little bit more speed. We would have had that one. Nope. Just move some of these out of the way. Move out that firewood. All right. And we just hit a log. Just in the middle of there. But you guys saw how I was doing that. So, just to go ahead and uh, clarify how to do barrel rolls really quickly. So, you just want to enter a ramp like this. Get it perfect. There we go. That time we got ourselves another barrel roll. You don't necessarily have to land it. Because landing a barrel roll is very, very difficult. Oh, but you guys saw right there. We got our wheel too much on there. It has to be a perfect aim on this. Has to be absolutely perfect. Otherwise, you are going to mess it all up. And you're just going to need to get your wheel just right. Just right. Has to be perfect. Has to be absolutely perfect. And that kind of does suck and can make this one of the hardest challenges to do. But anyway, though. We got some wheel spins to go ahead here and open. We're going to do one more attempt at barrel roll. And we, we just completely screwed the pooch on that one. But like I said, we got some wheel spins to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and do a couple wheel spins really quickly. We got three to go. First up, we have a chance at getting a Pontiac GTO Judge. Let's see what we can get here. We get ourselves 45,000 credits, which doubles to 90. Next up, what we have is we have a MG Metro 6R4 Horizon Edition. Keep it. Just keep it. I don't even want it. Give me that 70,000. That's worth more than the MG Metro is. And then finally, what we have is a Ferrari 488 GTB. I will take that, though. Give it to me. Instead, we get 40,000 credits. Not too bad, not too bad. But anyway, though, I think that's where we're going to go and wrap it up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413. And like I said earlier, guys, if you want to, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see uh, post force Dawn come back because I would really like to, you know, actually do it. I was just thinking, you know, oh, man, people aren't going to want to see it anymore. It's Horizon 3. But apparently, though, Horizon 3 is still growing pretty considerably. So I want to hear from you guys if you guys want to see uh, Post Force Dawn come back. And as well, it's going to be around 2 o'clock-ish Central Time on, uh, on on Horizon 3. You know, we're going to play some games and all that sort of stuff. You know, uh, like uh, Infected, all that. We're, we're just going to have a fun time, all right? So, but as well, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below for us. Because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to hit subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.